Oh yeah? I'll throw it in the basket. <laughs> so what do you think is better? In there or over uh, here? All bags I'm gonna need to go on. Yeah, this okay. Uh, I mean, run that one through of first. any size. Uh. Yeah. You don't mind when you run that one through? Uh, Step back on the table because all the metal will pick it up and work. What is zipper? This will be your zipper. Oh, all right. All right. You know where you're going today? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Right. How you doing, man? District Attorney. Okay. So. Dude, I need to run on down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good talk. Like I said, I'm going to speak with you for a leave. Yes, sir. Okay. So. Okay. Right. You oh, I forgot about that. <clears throat> oh. uh -huh. Take a little peek in the side here. Okay. Oh, you don't have to take it out. Just let me take oh. a look in. Who's the other guy makes me? I, I'm not saying that there's anything in what, What's his name? The other guy. What's whose name, sir? The other guy that worked last night. Oh, uh, I'm not familiar with him. Vivi? Cece or Lily or something? No? Oh, I'm not, I'm not really familiar with him. Okay. Him. Man, okay. He, just he, he told me. I just... <clears throat> I can see the bottom of it. Anything in those canisters? Oh, yeah. Well, here we go. I need to fill them up. Oh, there's a water fountain. Oh, okay. Let's see the other one. Oh, it's got a little water. I don't really like to be around. But that's water? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not doubting it. I, I just like to. No, no, I'm thirsty. Problem with it. Open this one for me. See Billy Joe come in. So, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is that a little bit? That's not mace or anything. Mace. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. You did it. Good. All right. You know where it's at? Well, yeah. It's right straight through the open it's door. Vi it's visible. So, the door is visible. Oh, yeah, I know. But I was making sure that you knew there'll be a lady at the window to your left as you enter. Have a good day. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Do I come back through you to go that way, please? Yes, ma'am. You have to come okay. through. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <clears throat> yes. Got a lot of stuff.
Yeah, rule 10.1, I wanted to read that. Before filing any motion to compel discovery, the moving party shall confer in person with the opposing party, Billy Joe, for the purpose of amicably resolving the discovery dispute. So I have a discovery dispute, I'm seeking discovery, and I would like to amicably resolve this. So <clears throat> I can give them five days uh, before a notice, uh, before a conference date, or um, you know I could write that a little note or something. Huh? Do you have a court date? Is there a yep. court date set? When's your court date? May. <clears throat> you want to see it? No, uh, no sir. Uh, I can take a message and get them to work on it. Well, okay. You said I, you get five days. Well, it's. Uh, uh, let's see. It's a long sentence. The moving party or attorney shall attempt to arrange a suitable conference date with the opposing party or counsel and confirm the date by written notice sent at least five days before the conference date, unless an earlier date agreed upon or good cause exists for a shorter time period. Yeah. And, and then this is rule the court court rules ten point one, Louisiana. Yeah. Yes, sir. I, I'm, I, I, that would be something. I just take messages. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, Travis. Mr. Travis. Oh, oh, what? Travis. Hines. H e i n z e. And your phone number, Mr. Hines? Oh, uh, well, I prefer email. Um, oh, email? I would, uh, but I can give both, but I prefer... Uh, well, I mean, he may, I think both is fine. Okay, great. Eau Claire 101 at uh, Gmail, so that is, it's like, uh, well, okay, E-A-U-C-L-A-I-R-E-1-0-1 at Gmail. And and then and then you can make it simple that this is in reference to Rule Ten Point One, the Court Court Rule Ten Point One. Ten Point One. Yes. And your phone number. Oh, sure. Okay, it's 715-257-0034. Uh, E-A-U-C-L-A-I-R-E-101 at email.com. Reference to rule 1, 1, 0 .1 right? 1, 0. Uh, take that point and move it to the left or move it to the right one. It's 10.1. Oh, 10.1. 10 10.1. 10 oh, you said one zero. Oh, my mis Oh, I misheard you. Okay. okay. Five days. Or it states in there, okay? Yeah, it states everything. So. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. You too. motion to dismiss case for Judge Owsley and uh, Prosecutor Harrington. I'd like to send to them. Okay. So do you do you accept them? I can. I can for the for the judge. Okay. Um, yeah. But not Billy Joel. No. You need to take that to the DA's office. Okay. I have it in PDF form. Is it possible to email to the judge and then I can also. You can email it to city court. Okay. Can I get your email address? Yes. 
All right, thank you. And there's a, a dash in there, CP tell. CP, yeah, CP dash tell. Right. Dot nel, no net, yeah, I got it, I got it, thank you. Uh, uh, so you, what time did you guys close on Friday? We closed at 11.30. Wow, all right, huh. I, um, what are your hours? You don't post them. What are here, you? we're open at all times. When you're not, when nobody's here, when this door is locked, you can match that red button. You see the red box on the side? Uh, nope, there's, there's no red button. Okay, you're pointing. Right here, sir. You're pointing here. Look at that. Wow, okay. Yes, I didn't even think to look over there. Yes, okay, um, I want the police policies and uh, Chief Owens is the one who's supposed to provide them. Chief Owens? Yep. There's no Chief Owens. Who's, uh, who's T. Owens? Clerk. Oh. Yes, sir. What was the chief's name again? It's Collins. Oh, that's right. All right. All right. Chief Collins must okay. provide them, apparently. Okay. So, uh, I'd like to get those police policies. Uh, I'm not sure if he's in right at the present moment. Let me check and see, okay? Okay. Getting somebody. <clears throat> okay. Um, so. Well, I mean, I guess, unless if I can get his email. Okay. His email? Yeah. Is it's that... going to be uh, in Collins. Okay. And negative? The whole, the entire, yeah. All right. No. LA.gov. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, I have a motion to dismiss. Uh, I already have the judge's email. Now I want uh, the prosecutor's email so I can email them both the PDF.
So you got your motion in PDF form. Do you know PDF? Okay. Wow. Yep. I want to email that. Okay. Just have a seat. I might have to find the email. Email to write them down for you. Email, email to write them down. Okay. Sounds yeah, good. And you're the deputy. Someone help me? Yeah. Yeah. She's right there. I don't even know you. I forget your name. You told me it. And then I. Yes, sir. I gotta get into my emails and find the correct emails. I can't remember all of them. He wants your email, Mr. Floyd, uh, Mr. Regan. He emails and send the SPSD file from the judge's office. Judge, yeah. Judge Owlsley. Uh, lawyers are supposed to make themselves available uh, for for these motions. It's I think it's part of their their oath. Good, good morning, sir. If you if you file an incarcerated person motion, you have to file. Which where are they located? So I'm going to ask you something. I'm going to ask you to take your camera off. Oh. Your camera, you're not going to stand here and do that. What? Right okay, to I'll, to all right. I'll take this off. It's it's off, all right? It's off now. I won't I won't touch it. Okay. If you if you will if you will file with the clerk of court, they will send us whatever we need. Okay. That's is the that the prop end. is that the property clerk? No, the clerk of court. Okay. Which is downstairs. Yep. File whatever you need with them. Okay, I went to the property clerks, and there's also the criminal clerks uh, next door in that vault. I went straight to them, and I'm like, hey guys, do I can I email you guys? Because I keep getting told by the DA that I got to email you guys my motion to dismiss. And they're like, nope. So whatever you need to file that you want us to have, there's a protocol in, pro in process or in place. And basically, what you do, it, if you if you let me explain. You will go to the clerk of court on the second floor down below you. One down. One down. And whatever it is you have, have it printed out and signed. You will file it with them, and they transmit everything to us. That's just the process by which we go. Yeah, do you know? That, that, is, that process is contained, is contained in the code of court. Code of Criminal Procedure and also in the local rules of court. Okay, yeah, and I have, yeah. Um, is that the, the property clerk's office? We don't have anything called a property clerk. Well, there's a civil clerk's in the basement. And, this is all criminal. No. Yep. And then yeah, then there's the property clerk's. And, and then next door I, uh, in that vault with all the old books. I, I don't know anything about them. Okay. Really all right, let me, get, let me get your name. I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to establish this a little bit better with them. What's your name? Uh, my name is Cloy Benjamin. Okay. Uh, Cloy, C L O Y. Cloyd. Okay. And just, just go there, they'll be very helpful. I'm going to say Cloy Benjamin told me this. It's, that's where you file. So, okay. um, all right. Have a great day. <laughs> Benjamin, I think Deputy DA, insists that I must file with the clerk of courts my motion to dismiss. Because there's protocol in the criminal procedure. What's your name? Amy. Amy? Oh, that's right. She said she'll check with Amy. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Cloyd Benjamin told me to file with the clerk of courts my motion to dismiss. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Now, even um, though it's in city court. Oh, is that what you're confused about? Yeah, because this is district court. Okay, that's different. All right, all right, I got gotcha. you. Uh, there's, saying. there's the, there's the prosecutor, and that's who I'm dealing with with you Let guys. Me, do you mind if I call him real fast? Oh, you just call him. I can't see him. All right. Yeah, let me call. I'm, I should be able to meet him. I mean, but go, okay, if, if he's at. Can I have your name? Travis Hines, like the ketchup bottle. Okay, Mr. Hines, one moment. Okay. All right. He's going to file hearing about the city court. Cloyd Benjamin said that, not Billy Joel. Yeah. What's the ADA? The American Disabilities Act? Assistant District Attorney. Oh, this, okay, yeah. ADA, all right. Hey, it's cool. I usually just go by the first <coughs> what do you want to file? A motion to dismiss. Okay. Do you have it ready? Do you have, you have your motion ready? In PDF form. PDF? Hey, I have Mr. Travis Hines here. With this being a city court case, he said that you told him to come here and file his motion to dismiss. Wouldn't it need to be filed with? Are y'all going to give him a district docket number? Can you file it with city court? Well, it happened at the library, so is this in, in city police? Okay. Because it's a city court case, Mr. Hines, you mm -hmm. need to go to city court and file file your motion. Okay. All right. Uh, I should probably be writing this down for you guys. All right. Um, I'll make a statement. I'll make a, like a witness statement. I guess if you give me a minute or two. Yeah. It, but but really though, the case is not going to be in district court. No, nope, it's not. District I can court. I could probably. So just take it to city I, court. I could demand a jury trial and have it moved to a parish court, but. Uh, uh, I know it's in city court. Okay. So, um, I, I don't know how much time. I was, okay, I was at the city court today, this morning, all right, and uh, got an email address from them. Okay, okay, oh, maybe I should, maybe you recognize it. Okay. But I don't do email, so I mean. City Court. This is the email that I email uh, my motion to okay. Judge Owlsley for. This is established. The judge part is established. But, uh, I got an email address to uh, send my my motion to Judge Owlsley to judge. Uh, but I also need to send. Um, but I also. Also, must um, send an email to the prosecutor. Okay. Okay. So you so, need, the, all right. need an email for the prosecutor for Billy for Billy Joel okay. or or. Uh, Let me, I'm going to call him for you. Does it? Why don't you? Do you, you want to read this to him? No, sir. I mean, I, uh, I'm, I'm going to. Yeah. You can listen to me. Just okay. To me. <clears throat> hey, is um Chloe there? Tell me, 
But he's standing right here in front of me. What do I say? What is your grandfather's name? I did. Yes, sir. I know. And what is your grandfather's name? Okay. Okay. Enough. We'll do. Yes, sir. Okay. I, uh, yeah, and, and, and he's been over there. This for you, so okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. He said you're going to have to go to city court. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what he, he said to do. The city court will not accept emails for the prosecutor. They only accept emails for the judge. Well, this is the clerk of court, the district court. So. Okay. Uh, you, I'm going to just. I'm going to have to just write a sanction. All right. Instead, on the prosecutor for not providing an, uh, contact information for my my motion. This is what it, I guess it comes down to. Is just you guys are going to stand where you are. So I'm just going to have to complain about that situation in my due process that's prejudice and I mean, if it was a district court case you would file here but it's in city court it's the prosecutor he, the prosecutor pros okay the prosecutor also prosecutes in city court there's no other prosecutor all right so he's covering both district or parish and city you understand that Okay, I'm not whatever you you understand what, where you're at and okay. We'll just work with that Nothing done here today. Oh, well, I'm sorry yeah. about it, but I hope you have a good rest of your day. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. All right. The deputy district attorney or assistant district attorney, Cloyd Benjamin, said that they don't accept uh, any emails for motion to dismisses. Uh, the, you have to accept it for the prosecutor. Okay. You, you can email it to us, however, and we'll print it out. We can give, if they don't accept it by email, we can print it out and give them a copy. So you can make two copies, one for the prosecutor and one for the judge. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay, all right, thank you. All right, could I have my name put on the docket for February 15th? I have it scheduled for in May. You could do that? Um, probably so. Let me check. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to do a public records request. Okay, hold on a second. What off? Same office, just on the other side. Oh, you're over there too. Okay, yeah, public records request. Doing Close the door. Welcome. Public records request. Okay, hold on. What do you want? Uh, well, I mean, I would like the history of uh, the police that arrested me. There, see if they have any complaints, and then also the police policy stuff. I mean. Yeah, that would be the lady that you talked to the other day, Jessica. Over there, this would be over there again. Okay, right. all the all like, public all pub, public records requests are handled over there, pretty much. Okay. You guys don't have any sheets to fill out here. I don't know. There's none. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Request. Um, you have the sheet for that? No, I don't have the sheet for that. Oh. Uh, um. 
I, well, I, I mean, I could write, I guess I could write. I, I, how do you, who handles the public records requests? I'm not sure, let me find out, okay? Okay. Monday. Monday? Today's today's Tuesday, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> what? Um is the chief how's the chief schedule look today? I can't tell you. He doesn't really tell me, sir. Okay. Is he here? Is he here today? He hasn't he hasn't come in yet. Okay. All right. All right, thank you. Okay, yeah, I can understand that the guards would not have a schedule for like court the court times like for the week, but I mean somebody's gotta have a schedule. Oh um the DA has will uh, post a schedule for the schedule Okay, alright. Alright, sounds good. Uh, court dates uh, like on a daily basis. Is there anything for the public to see what the schedule is today, tomorrow, the next day? Let me ask Mr. Coy. I don't know. We get, of course, a docket. Yeah. So I don't know if the public see, does or not. You don't have your camera on. Well, you? a lot of, yeah, I think so. You want me to turn it off? Please. Uh, Hold on just a moment. Let me find out for you. the dates for yours. Well, no, I want to sit in. I mean, the public is allowed to sit in on court. You didn't mention that. Okay, hold on. I want to be, I want to observe as an, as an observer. Okay, I did do that it's below the, the property clerks, and they said that you guys make the schedule, so you guys would have the schedule. You should have the schedule available for the public. Well, we don't have it available. Uh, okay, so they don't. You don't. Who does? So you went to the clerk's office down first. Yeah, the property clerks, which is uh, like they got a barrier with a little door that goes to the criminal clerks. Below them, in the basement, there's the. The civil the clerks. One, when you get out the elevator and the doors open up, on the first floor, go to your left in that, that clerk's office. Yeah, the property clerks, right? It, it just says clerk. Yeah, there's a big sign at the end of the hallway that yeah. says clerk of courts. I was in there. Uh, uh, I didn't. I didn't get the name of the lady I talked to. Can I get your name? I guess I'll. I'll mention you. And uh, then I'll just get her name so we can go back and forth like this. I'll call the clerk's office and ask him if they have oh, a code on. Okay. <clears throat> hey, this is the new search. 
sound good. Is uh, Amy there, or who am I speaking to? Well, what I, the question is I have, and you probably know, is um, this gentleman wants a dates of court so he can sit in and observe. He said he went there and got on cabinet. That's why I'm confused. Where should he go to get the schedule of our court dates? Thanks, yeah, but he wants to observe everybody at somebody else's court. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you know. Well, Mr. Coyd said the clerk, so. Okay, okay, well, let me. Okay. Hey, Nikki, it's Denise, how are you? I'm okay. Do you know if y'all have a schedule of our court dates? Not city, but just hours. This gentleman wants to sit in and observe the court. Um, I, Mr. Coyd said y'all would have it, but... Yes, ma'am. Both, probably. It's a, Mr. Travis Hines, right? Oh, yep. Travis Hines. He went there earlier. Come to go pick it up. Pick, pick, I just want to see it. I, just, I can take a picture of it. Whatever. That's what I'm saying. You want going back down to look at it? I want to look at it for the like like the day, and then I come back tomorrow to look for look at that day's schedule, then come back three two days from now and look at that day's schedule, like that type of process, like other courts do. No, they're gonna show you something. You can take. You can just go show him all the dates, and he can take a picture of it. Okay, because he said he can come every day or so and get it, but... No, he wants a court schedule, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Okay, I'll send you back now. Thank you. You go on. Okay, thank you. Nikki, I am. You can have to are, sit right there. Are you elected or appointed as uh, like the clerk of court? So. I'm not a clerk who's, of court. Oh, who's the who's like the elected or the appointed mm -hmm. clerk of? Right what's their name? His name is David Stanley. Oh, he's the guy. <laughs> he didn't say that. All right. Do you know if he's elected or appointed? <laughs> He'll tell. Oh, elected? Okay. What do you need, sir. Okay. Uh, I see. I hear that you're elected. So. What's that? You're the elected clerk of court, right? You know, there's a vote in, the vote done, and you won. Wait, that is correct. Right. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. All right. It was a close race. Yeah? He wants to get me a copy of the court schedules. I don't know that that's what he wants, but let's give it to him. Well, a daily schedule, like, I, I, don't, no, I, don't, ex that. I don't expect tomorrow's schedule right See, we now. Have our, we have our monthly. A monthly mm -hmm. schedule? Yes, sir. Actually, this is an annual. Yeah, yeah I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'll just quickly take a picture of it. I, I, would, I didn't bring my phone because I had to leave it behind to go talk to the judge because I at the judge's office because I wanted to uh, see the uh, um, the arrest warrants. I wanted to read arrest warrants that are executed so they're public. But uh, right. I left my phone behind. I, I'll have to take a picture well, on we'll this. Copy I that. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll work too. Mm -hmm. Right back. Monthly, huh? That's a, well. I'll look. I'll look at it. I'll just. I'll just get. I'll just get familiar with it and see what it's. It's all about. Usually they have a daily, like the other. Court, I don't know if you've been to other courthouses, um, but they'll have like a little little board at the front doors, and you can see what the for the day what the 
what yeah. the schedule is like for that day. So Our deal is you you've been to City Court, right? Yep. Because they would probably be able to give you something similar to that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm familiar with that. But uh, this is this is the, your court. I just I want to I want to observe. I want to observe in the observation section uh, proceedings, arraignments, possibly some trials because you're allowed. Trials would would be open. Yep. Arraignments. Yeah. It would be very random. The t times. Yeah. So are, that, I mean, it wouldn't be necessarily like it will literally say here. Uh, criminal trials, misdemeanor arraignments. So it gives some dates. It just doesn't give you. Could I could I observe bail hearings? I don't know. Is that that should be public too? You talk know. about I bail. I don't know that it is. It's outside of our office. Hmm. I know that it's out. It's through the judge. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you. See you later. court officers from the bottom to the top know their schedule at the courthouse but they have nothing to provide for the public to see who's on the docket this is a schedule the year out that doesn't give names of who's on the docket for criminal trials and pre-trials felony pleas criminal jury trials they just just kind of threw out some dates in for general, and then they will fill in names afterward. But they don't keep they they don't and every courthouse probably has this type of schedule. I'm looking for a daily schedule. I'm looking for that, and they can't provide that to me. David Staley, he's the elected clerk official. He's he's the one he's the clerk he provi he provides he prepares and provides this information for the public, but it's it's very lacking. Uh, I I don't uh, quite know understand why is it because of a lack of activity? They're overwhelmed. I mean, if you're going to be putting together these these court dates and stuff, they they need to be uh like followable. I. I did, I had to I had to ask him directly for a, just a generalized monthly schedule or monthly or yearly more like a yearly schedule that's the best he could provide asking they 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 don't know who's in court they don't they don't record these these clerks don't record who's going to be in court for that day they have nothing to provide for the public. And the public probably doesn't ask. I mean, that's that's why I'm not getting that information. They only have, like, I don't even know how they, how do they arrange the information. It's very frustrating because I was forgotten in jail. They forgot me for a day. I stayed four days, and I should have only stayed three days because they forgot me. Why does that forgetting happen? Because they're not, they're not doing their administrative duties they're fa they're failing in their administrative duties so things need to change uh with that uh so that the public can be uh more involved in the process rather than surprised by by uh i don't know the news or something one and i might have recorded it one of the clerks said well it might be in the she was talking on the phone she wasn't telling me but she's like could it be in the paper the schedule be in the newspaper you should if you're going to post anything to the newspaper you should be posting it in the courthouse somewhere as well um and i looked at there's a billboard next to the entryway of the clerk of courts 
Uh, I didn't see a schedule there, but uh, I, I was kind of hoping they directed me to that. Like, maybe I missed it, but that's not the case. I think it's, it's become pretty standard, but I mean, depending on how large the courthouse is, it's fairly standard to post uh, the, the schedule for the day right at the front doors. At least that's, that's a very professional way of doing it. Uh, but uh, once again, this this uh, this town, this city is, is has fallen behind, fallen through the cracks. Is is uh, just not not uh, keeping up on on basic basic administrative uh, procedures. They've just they've just skipped they skip steps a lot to to save uh, um, in in some way money or time or whatever whatever they're trying to do to to uh save to to, to be able to try to save the process to to be able to uh preserve their process as much as they can uh with uh, with uh, the least amount of work possible uh they're they're working it this way and i'm just getting a snapshot of what's going on right now